Hello, uh, I'm Richard Raffin and in this video you're going to see me roughing down a spindle blank uh, using three different types of spindle roughing gouges and a one inch skew chisel. This is a piece of Oregon pine. Uh, it's center work. The grain is running um, parallel to the lathe axis and when you rough it down the cuts really need to go in a series of scoops from one end back to the other. If I took an edge and went really aggressively into this section there's a very good chance that all of that would break out at one time. Um, I, you probably want to get rid of it when you're um, making the square to round uh, but you don't necessarily want to get rid of it all at once. Um, so in general start at one end work back to the other. So I'm going to be using here for this one uh, a 2 inch uh, spindle roughing gouge. Here goes all the rest. Roll it over until you get a shaving and dust and away you go. It just this really could be a shade lower. So a series of scoops take you back. Now the surface is not going to be particularly good uh, because this tool is essentially uh, peeling. It's it's taking uh, a layer or a, a taking individual fibres off the bundle, if you like. Um, it's it's not a slicing cut. Uh, so you don't worry too much about that. That's the deep fluted. Um, two inch gouge. You might also be doing it with a one inch, one inch diameter. Essentially the same thing. Just using the wing of the tool and I could go in the other direction but generally if I'm right handed you're better just standing there and going back. I prefer to use a, if I'm using a gouge at all, I prefer to use uh, the continental gouge. This is one inch uh, diameter across the flute. So this tends to give a slightly cleaner cut because of the angle of the edge. But I can also use the nose of the tool. More often than not, if I'm roughing down something like this, I'm going to be using a skew chisel and and that gives me a much much cleaner surface.